So what we'll do next then is come over here and set the heights of those things. And remember, column one is 350 pixels, column two is 790 in row one, and then column one is 840 and column two is 300 in row two. So let's go ahead and do that. Widget columns. Actually, let's specify the height first. So the header row one height there was 180. It was 180 and 40. So row one height is 180 pixels. And then if we look at column one settings, that was 350 pixels. And then column two settings was 790. And then down to header row two, we give it its height of 40 pixels. And then column one setting of, of 840 and then 300. 840 and then column two settings of 300. Now, this might not work perfectly the first time, but we'll adjust a little bit and see how it goes. Okay, take that and refresh it. Okay, so what's going on here is that the two sets of definitions that we've created are too big in order to show here. And so what we have to do is make sure that the definition for our page width in the header area is the right dimension. And so we said that needed to be 1140. So what we can do is come over to our full width backgrounds plugin and come over to the header area, customize header area dot page and scroll down here to the bottom. And by default, thesis defines all of the page areas is exactly the same width. So thesis calculates the width of the page and then makes header area.page, content area.page, and footer area.page the same width. But here we have a chance to explicitly set a different width for any one of those containers. And I'm just going to say 1140 for that and hit save. And then we'll come back over and refresh. And these should just jump up there now. Okay, there we go. So we have specified the overall width and we have our two widget columns and we have these two things sitting in here. 